Hey guys, it's Johnston. I'm currently isolating here at home in Forest in the north of Scotland, and this is going to be what I've been up to. So enjoy. Oh, that's me done. Terrible music incoming. Hey guys, Max here. Um, I'm currently isolating in my house behind me in Southbourne, Bournemouth. Um, and here's what I've been up to lately. Hello, Toby. Say hi to the camera. Hello, camera. Uh, no, but you, you, you're, you're sat on a chair as in like you're in the phone, sat on a chair. Hey guys, it's Marks, and I'm currently isolating in Surrey, England. And here's what I've been up to lately. Hey guys, Giles here. I have been isolating in my house and my office in February, and I'm feeling more confident with this project as the days go by. Just gonna put some hand cream on first before I turn into a husk of a man, husk of a man, husk of a man. So guys, basically, before this whole thing started, I had a feeling that it was going to be pretty bad. So I decided to order a squat rack, a power rack, um, and a bunch of weights, uh, essentially to keep my power and my strength training going uh, during this isolation period. I'm going to get building, and we'll see you guys when it's done. Instruction manual. This looks like a piece of piss. That's it. Do a little bit more lifting tomorrow and uh, a little bit of training after that. And yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing with my time. Apart from the isolate video, if you haven't seen that, uh, go ahead and watch it because that came from the heart and it was super fun to make. I'm going to be making part two, um, so yeah. If you like the content that we're doing, hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah, weekly uploads, so there's no reason not to. So there's this move I've been super desperate to try recently. It's like a cart into like you switch your feet and then do like a frisbee or something. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I've had a couple of goes just now and I think I'm on the right track. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a few more goes and see if I can hopefully get it. Ah! I feel like that was a that was a pop. I need to roll. <laughs> was that it? This is the one, I can feel it. Oh, that felt better. That felt better. Oh, yes, yes. That's me done. I'm happy with that. Still need some work. Um, but if you guys have any tips for me, I'd love to Love to hear them because um, at the moment I'm just watching clips of myself back and being like, yeah, that's wrong, that's wrong. So definitely missed something out. So if you guys can help me, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'm going inside for a gym sesh. And uh, I'm going to take you with me into that tiny little room in there. This is the front entrance of my house. It's quite a lovely place to be isolated at the moment because that's my balcony up there and you can just look out and see things. So beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm currently in the room that I just talked about, that balcony. Lovely open windows for the morning, you just whip them back, sun in your face, beautiful. But yeah, currently working on this little ebook 
about my journey discovering parkour. Um, it also includes a couple written tutorials. Um, I go through how I break down jumps um, and a load of other little gems in there. So it's just a great project to be working on whilst I'm stuck at home and I need something to do. So first things first, I'm going to work on my ebook for a bit and then we'll see where the day goes from there. <laughs> Very exciting. Just taking delivery of this large box, quite evidently. And within this box are a number of bag samples for our Autumn Winter 20 collection. First samples, haven't seen these in person yet, so very excited to open them. However, essentially, this box came from India, but it stopped in London for a couple of days with one of the girls who kind of represents our factory. She's staying with her parents, both of which were confirmed to have the coronavirus. Now I don't know how serious to take this, I don't particularly want to get sick, so I'm going to change into something a little bit more suitable. Alright, I'm ready. I can only find two right-handed gloves, but I'm ready. So, I put quite a lot of work into the initial sampling stage of this and they've actually gone and made us two variations of each bag in different fabrics, which is exciting because it's giving us more options earlier on rather than having to sort of wait to make those decisions. With sampling, sometimes what you get is awful and it's horrible and really upsetting, but hopefully I've already seen photos of these and I have a, a, an idea that I think I'm going to be pretty happy with them. We have four bags. Now, I don't want to show you these in too much detail, but I will reveal that we are doing a backpack and a holdall, so like a small travel bag, because a lot of people just want backpacks, but if you're going to like a weekend event, like for the long movement, Something a little bit bigger that you can get a bit more stuff into that you can still fit in the overhead of a plane. I don't even know if we can travel anymore. All planes are cancelled, but one day you'll be able to put it in the overhead of a plane. Now, this was the old motors backpack that we did. Mine has lasted an incredible amount of time. I know a few people had issues with things like the zips, but for the most part I was really, really happy with this bag. You can just about see Sarah there, she thinks I'm an idiot. But I'm really happy with how this bag turned out and, and I'm basically going to keep on working on these until they're at the stage where they're going to be in sort of similar if not better quality because you want a bag for a good few years in my opinion. It's not something that you just have and then chuck away. So I'm going to get stuck into these, I'm going to stop recording and uh, hopefully they'll, they'll turn out pretty banging. Wash your hands, probably you don't need to look as ridiculous as me, I'm obviously kind of doing this as a joke, but it's fun, isn't it? Right guys, so this is the first session in my home gym, uh, hopefully today. Well today I'm going to be doing um, my one rep maxes and we're going to be seeing what they are, um, just so I can get a placeholder for, for my improvement in my strength over the next uh, few months of using this place. Um, I'm definitely not as strong as I was a couple of months ago, so these aren't going to be personal records, but 
still it's going to be interesting and hopefully you some of you guys might find this interesting as well um so yeah hopefully i'm not as weak as i think but i might be so um yeah i'll be doing deadlift squat and bench today and dips and pull up tomorrow you're probably meant to do it in some sort of order so you're not too tired and so you can hit your absolute maximum weight but i just want to get a number um to work from um so yeah to the bar <laughs> Maybe I haven't lifted this in about six months, so yeah, I'm fucking psyched for this one if I get it. Woo! Ah! Woo! 125 for a PR. My current PR is 122.5, so if I get this, I'll be so, I'll be psyched. I don't even know how either. So, let's go. So I'd say, based on that, I think I could probably just make 122.5, which is my current long rep map, max. But I'm not going to try it because uh, I'm about to dead this now. My Achilles is starting to flare up from doing those wide ones. Um, so I've switched to narrow stats, which I don't usually do, and I'm definitely a lot weaker doing them. I'll try 150, but yeah, I'm also probably tired from my bloody squat. Oh, that was bad! So, deadlifts definitely suffered a bit. I think on a fresh day, not after squats. I'm probably looking at 155 on a split stance. We'll see you in the morning. That's it for tonight. Oh, I fucking love this setup though, man. Look at this place. Look at this place. It's my little dojo. It's so good. Got my mirror here. We got another one here for the deadlifts. Oh man. And it's funny because my kitchen is literally just there. My dad's in there just now, but it's uh, it's so good because he literally can't hear me screaming like before I'm going for a rep. I don't know why, just because the old house has really thick walls, so it's literally, it's literally mine. So, cool. That's it for tonight. Finished writing. Um, I did the whole tutorial section on pre-move and preparation. I've been writing for about an hour um, and Toby Annals, my good friend and training partner from down here, just called me up and he said, do you want to play a game of flip or pig or whatever you want to call it over face chat? And I promise you this is spontaneous. This isn't just for the video. He actually called me up and he was like, do you want to play pig or do some flips over FaceTime? So I'm going to try and film how that pans out. My garden has kind of been wrecked by the builders, so the ground is all uneven, but... I'll try and dodge it and not like twist an ankle. Right, so we've got the video chat working. Hello Toby, say hi to the camera. Hello camera. We're just going to warm up quickly and then we're going to hit some flips together. Aren't we Toby? I think so. He thinks so. For all purposes shoot, okay? Yeah, ready? Okay. Rock, paper, paper. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, paper, shoot. Scissors, shoot. Right, so I'm you in. go first. Right, let's start with let's just let's just go easy to start with. Let's just do a side flip, yeah. 
front handspring. I cannot wait for my back to love me for that one. Just set Toby to do a opposite side flip and I don't think he's done them before. He's just filming his on the other side of the phone. Off his side flip time, boy. Yes! <laughs> well, did it actually look like a side flip? It was a side flip, it was a Webster side flip, for sure. Sound. Yeah, there you go. That one was well nice. So, just set Max to do a back handspring. I got it at first though, so let's see how this goes. Nice one. That was better. That was a bit better, right? Right, well that was fun. Um, not the most conventional way of playing pig, but it got me outside, got me speaking to Toby, got me doing some flips, and it was fun. So I'm gonna go carry on writing my book. Um, that'll be out in a couple of weeks, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, anyway, peace out, and I'll see you later. Just so my contribution to the video is not just a time lapse of me editing, I thought I'd give you a little update on where Soul Destroyer is sitting, especially given the whole coronavirus situation. Thankfully we already hold a lot of the stock that we're going to be releasing as part of the collection. There's still a few more things to arrive, but in terms of the clothing there isn't really that much of a delay apart from one particular product, which unfortunately is potentially my favourite product, which is the Impact shirt, which we teased last year at some stage thinking the whole collection was going to come out way sooner. We've had issues with the factory that was making these to the extent where we now are working with a different factory and that other factory had lawyers emailing me and loads of fun stuff that I don't particularly want to go into. Basically it's looking very likely that the impact shirts are going to be delayed but the rest of the collection will come out as one entire thing. In an ideal circumstance we would have the final samples of the three shirts. There's a black one, a grey one, and then a red one of which we don't actually have the final shirt yet. Ideally I'd love to have all three of them so that we can then shoot a cohesive lookbook, but at this stage we don't even know if that's going to happen because they're being made in India, and India is obviously currently in mass lockdown. So it's kind of all reliant on finishing the video, which is still going to be a bit of time, and then also being able to get out there and shoot lookbooks and sort of website photos and stuff to the quality that we want them to be at. Like, we've put so much into this collection now that I'm not just going to go out on the street corner and shoot a lookbook and rush it. So it's all a little bit dependent on the current circumstances, but we're working to get it out and, and finished as soon as possible.